Hi, this is Robert Miller, and I'm here at the Van Nuys Courthouse, which is behind me. And I wanted to make a quick video regarding medical marijuana and possession of marijuana. Um, there's a lot of confusion regarding the law here in California. The uh, legislature passed a law in the year 2000 that allowed possession of marijuana to be legal as long as you have a medical certification from a doctor or a card uh, that's been certified by a doctor certifying basically that you have a condition that can be treated by marijuana. Based on that, uh, a lot of people went out and got cards and visited doctors and there's been a whole industry that's grown up in the last 10, 10 years or so regarding um, legal possession of marijuana through the medical marijuana statute. The one thing that I get a lot of clients um, that are confused on is that it's still illegal no matter what to drive under the influence of marijuana and the state of California doesn't have a legal limit where they can say you're safe or unsafe. As you might know, the uh, active ingredient in marijuana or cannabis is THC, and that could stay in your body for a long time, even as long as 30 days. So the tests that are done by the crime lab that reports to the prosecuting agencies typically only report on the presence of THC, which could have been ingested a uh, long time ago before driving under the influence. If you have THC in your system, you could be charged with being under the influence of marijuana, which is a crime, even if you have a doctor's certifi certification or a medical marijuana card. Based on that, it's usually not a good idea to uh, drive under the influence at all or uh, at least use extreme caution if you've ingested marijuana in the weeks before you're, um, you plan to be driving. Also, it's still illegal to, uh, to transport or sell unless you are a licensed dispensary under the medical marijuana law. And to make it even more confusing, each county in the state of California is allowed to set the minimum limits that you can grow marijuana in your place of residence. Um, there's a wide variety between, um, I believe, uh, San Bernardino or Kern County. I think Kern County lets you have a, uh, a large number of plants, up to 50 plants or something. There are other counties um, in California that limit it to one plant for personal use. So that's something that you'd want to check out before you decide to grow your own in your particular um, county of residence. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through the website, expertlawfirm.com, or you can always call me toll-free. Our phone number is 877-568-2977. Thanks a lot.